everybody, it's Linda from Linda Takes It Back. Today I'm going to give you my week 18 update. If you're interested, stay around. All right guys, so week 18. It feels like it's been forever since I've done an update, but I just think that my weight loss is in a really weird pattern and so it just seems like everything's taking forever <laughs> um okay so i'm going to give you my stats i had my surgery my vsg surgery which is vertical sleeve gastrectomy on may 17 2019 at the hospital of the university of pennsylvania in philadelphia <gasps> okay <laughs> my surgeon was dr dumont from penn bariatrics my starting weight when I started the six month program was 217 and the day of surgery, it was 201.1. Today, week 18 after surgery, I am 171. Yay! Last week I was 172.3, so that's a loss of 1.3. But I think, okay, so here's how it's been going. It's been maddening it, and I know, a lot of people stop weighing themselves every day and I have always weighed myself every day um, unless I really, really was way off track and I'm like, I don't even want to know. So uh, I weighed myself like the day after my last video and I went down to 171 and I was like, yay, that's great. And then the next day you weigh yourself and I went up like 0.9. And this is like the third week this has happened where I've had like a big gain and then I spend the whole rest of the week losing that gain. So I was 171.6 and 171.3 and today I was 171.1 and I don't know what's going on, uh, I, but it, it's happened several times now. So it's just like my body gets a little correction and then it's like, no, maybe you don't want to lose weight. And then it keeps, it's just playing with me and my mind it's not good but um so as long as I know that this is the pattern I'm trying not to beat myself up about it and I'm trying to really stay on track and it's been really hard especially at night with snacking and I do work from home so that's hard too because I'm I notice when I'm really busy it's great because I I just lose track of time and things are moving and I can let a couple hours go by and not think about food. But when I'm home, it's just like really, really tough. Um, okay. So I think it was last week or the week before I started feeling strange. Um, not my normal self kind of bummed out and there was really no reason for it. And I know a lot of people that I talk to on support groups and on Facebook groups mentioned that they were really depressed right after the surgery. And I was like, well, I have like a history of depression and anxiety and all that in my family and, and my whole life. And I have never felt depressed after the surgery. I thought, this is awesome. I'm finally getting to the goals that I've been trying to get to for a long time. And I was really excited about it. Um, not that it wasn't hard and not that I wasn't low energy, which I have been, but um, I, I felt like I'm moving in a good direction and things are going well, you know, and I haven't been depressed. But the last couple weeks, I did feel like kind of bummed out and I didn't know why. And, um, and then a few, a few days ago, yeah, maybe like four days ago, I am like, I think I'm getting my period. Okay, so just so you know, I take continuous birth control pills. I don't have a break in between and I haven't had a period in like a year because the last time I missed one pill, one pill, it was awful. And I'm like, okay, don't let that happen again. Don't forget that again. I, I started doing that because after I had my girls, things were really crazy and um, with my body and it was just overwhelming. And I also was having like major anxiety problems. And the OBGYN said, well, maybe being on a continuous hormone would help you not have those low dips every time of the month. So that's what I've been doing and it's been going great. Until now, I'm like, what's happening? 
happening? You know, when you haven't had that in like a year or more, you're like, what? Oh, right. I'm a woman. I forgot. <laughs> so I've been dealing with that. But the good news is that I feel better. Like I was feeling bloated and I was just feeling bad. And um, I'm not, not depressed. I'm not. I'm fine. So uh, maybe I was just tired and I had all the hormonal stuff going on, but everything's good now. And uh, I do have a bit of an MSV this week. I have that consignment sale I mentioned in another video that I do from, it's a kid's consignment sale. It's twice a year, but the fall one is the really big one. And um, since I've been doing my photography, the fall is also my busiest time of year usually. It's my kid's birthday month. It's our anniversary month. It's just chock full of nonsense and so much. It's just a tough month. And so um, when I do the consignment sale, if you, not to get too in detail about it, but I haven't been able to consign much over the past few years, but I consign just enough to get in early to the sale. So I have had all of the stuff. And so my goal was to get it out of the house and do as much as I can. So I did like 150 items this time and I started it weeks, weeks ago, like maybe even months ago. And still there was a rush at the end to get as much done as I can. And I even volunteered. And that's where the NSV comes in. I haven't been able to volunteer in previous years because when I did, my feet were killing me. My back was killing me. Um, it was really, really hard for me to stand on like a concrete floor for four hours. And um, I thought I would try it because you get more money, more percentage back if you volunteer. So that was Tuesday and it was like four hours of volunteering and I had to do the thing that's hardest for me to do, which is like this action. Anything raising my arms up. What did I get on me? Oh, I saw something. No, oh, what's that? Chalk or something? Okay, anyway, <laughs> distracted. <laughs> so yeah, so uh, four hours of like checking clothes like this up on high racks and I was able to do it. I brought my protein bar with me. I brought water with me. I even brought my calcium chew with me um, and I was prepared. So, you know, it wasn't like anyone was down your throat about working, but you know, we did get a lot done. I was working with another person and then I went back the next day and shopped, which is even harder because all the clothes are like really jam packed and you're pushing things. And um, I'm not saying I wasn't sore and I'm not saying I wasn't exhausted, but I was maybe 10 times better than previous years. I mean, the pain and just the ability to do it. I felt like I recovered quickly from it. I slept really well last night because I was just really wiped out from it. Anyway, so that was an NSV that I was just able to do it and able to do more and I didn't feel like wiped out from it. So it was a good time. It's still a good time even if I'm in pain from it because I love shopping and my kids are so excited when you come home and they just try on all the stuff and it's amazing. So, okay, on a different topic, uh, my hair. Oh my God, guys, oh my God. Mm. It's falling out like crazy. And I know I said I have a lot of hair or maybe I had a lot of hair, <laughs> but um, so I try to keep it back in a ponytail a lot. So it's not falling like everywhere into food on the countertops, anything like that. But um, it's very thin. And so if you look at the ponytail, right, it's got like all these raggedy bits. And if I like pull, like things will just come out of the ponytail and it's just, oh my gosh, don't think about it. <laughs> I might be getting it cut a little shorter because right now it's like hitting here and looping up a little and just to kind of maybe here. I don't know. I haven't decided. I know a lot of people cut it shorter just so there's less hairs all over the place. Um, yeah. Hey, hey, okay. Have you guys seen this? Look at this. I have like bones there. Who knew that? I felt um, when I was really heavy um, or at my heaviest, I felt um, right here in a weird way, like I was choking myself. It felt like tight around my neck. And I really didn't like that feeling. I don't know if anybody else had that, but I felt like maybe it was stretching my skin. Whatever it was, it just felt 
tight and uncomfortable and I don't feel that anymore and that's kind of awesome. What I did notice though is my skin's really loose. It's like, you see that right there? That's new. That's new. And it's loose like it's hanging a little bit because of all the weight I've lost. What kind of exercises can I do for my face? <laughs> oh, I'll just like crazy glue it up this way. I don't know. <laughs> but it's weird. It's weird like looking at your hands and I have like all this extra skin on my hands. I mean, hey, don't do that and you won't see it, right? <laughs> But it's there. So if I, I turned my leg a certain way and I was like, oh, it's just kind of bunches up. And I haven't lost like, comparatively to everybody else. They've lost 100 pounds and I've lost 46 since I started the program. And what was my total? 30 since I had my surgery, 30.1. So it's, um, it, it happens. I'm, I'm older and my skin's just not as elastic as some people. So it's a little more droopy. I don't look like I looked at this weight before, but hey, I'm 10 years older at least. So we're just going to have to roll with it. And I've got long sleeves. Who cares? Uh, <laughs> so, uh, oh, somebody called me tiny. That was crazy. <laughs> I went with my mom and my mom's friend to see Margaret Atwood. Um, she did like a live event from London and you could go to different theaters and see it. And we met for dinner and her friend came in and hadn't seen me in a long time. And she's like, I, in the middle of me talking, she said, I can't get over how tiny you are. And I'm like, yeah, nobody's ever called me tiny. Like in my whole life, I was always in high school. I wasn't like, overweight in high school but I was bigger than my friends by maybe like 15 20 pounds so it was always I was the bigger one um and it's kind of strange at this weight because this feels like it doesn't feel like a change to me I look in the mirror and I see my face thinner and I see my body thinner but to me this is where I've spent most of my life at this weight trying to get lower and, um, and then it just went crazy up after I had my girls and everything happening in my life, the pain and the stress and taking care of twins, all of that came together and just everything was out of control. And I'm sure it was hormonal as well. It just was very frustrating to not be able to lose a pound. I saw, you know, in my, um, lose it scale the graph it, it just barely moved in such a long time I think my highest was 223 and I was 217 when I started the program so all I could lose was six pounds in like three four years of trying and and I don't know how hard I was trying because I was so stressed out and so overwhelmed uh, so I'm glad that I've made the changes in my life that I have uh, not just with the weight loss surgery but in reducing the stress and taking that out of the picture. I guess my fear is that I'm going to be stuck here. I'm going to be stuck at the same weight that I was stuck at for most of my life and struggling with that. Um, but hey, I'm just going to have to roll with it because I'm feeling a lot better than I was before, a lot more healthy than I was before. And we're just going to have to see where that goes. And I'm just gonna have to keep working at it. And one of the things I can really do is to build my strength. And so I've been going to the gym, I've been using little hand weights. I don't work out like five times a week. I don't really have a lot of energy and I'm working on motivation. I don't know if anyone else has experienced this, but I feel like I'm having trouble um, not making decisions, but taking actions like sending out an email or uh, working on an album or trying to organize something, I'm having trouble. And that's not my personality usually. I'm like, I got a list, I'm checking these things off, woo, 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 you know? And I am not that right now. And it could be low calories. I have upped my calories some because I just felt I couldn't even function at that level. I've upped my carbs some too. And uh, 
I, I'm not sure what it is. I don't know if anyone else is experiencing it or noticed a difference after the surgery that you had trouble um, focusing and going, this is what I need to take care of. I know what I need to do. I'm just not doing it. And I don't know why. I'm not, um, I don't know. Maybe I'm just so focused on the VSG that I, I'm not dedicating energy to other areas. Maybe I don't have that energy. I kind of, in my mind, I'm like one thing at a time right now, one thing at a time. And my life is usually like five things at a time. So it's a, it's a bit frustrating because I'm like, I know I need to do this and I still haven't done it. And I got to figure that out. There's a little bug in here. I don't know why. It's tiny. It's like a gnat. Oh, well. So another thing that I've noticed in NSV since I've lost the weight so far is my sleep is better. My sleep is way better. I was really having trouble um, with my neck and with my back. I would wake up, well one, I'd have a hard time getting to sleep and have to sleep in really weird positions and toss and turn a lot to get comfortable. And then um, in the morning, I'd wake up about an hour before my alarm went off and I would just be uncomfortable, still trying to sleep. Oh, this bug is making me crazy. It's like buzzing me. It's a tiny, tiny little like fruit fly or something. Sorry. So anyway, so now I don't have that. Now I'm sleeping and then I have trouble waking up, uh, which... I mean, I, I take a muscle relaxer to get to sleep because my muscles are so tense and it helps a lot, but before it wasn't really helping enough. So it's kind of amazing that it, it works now. And I mean, I don't sleep in like I used to when I was a teenager or I used to love to sleep, but I don't have time really to do that anymore. And I'm up, I wake up, but I'm pretty good. Like I'm like, okay, I got a good night's sleep. And I'm really happy with that. Uh, definitely an NSV. I've uh, decided to do some volunteering at my kids' school. And one of them is being uh, the yearbook photographer. So there's two other ladies who are doing it. We just go to the events and photograph people. And then it's for their little yearbook. And they're in elementary school, so it's, it's not a huge deal. But... Um, I'm also volunteering to be the homeroom parent uh, for parties and things like that. And there was usually like four or five parents who volunteer. And then my girls wanted to join Girl Scouts and there's not enough leaders to have another group. Or they would need to split the class into another group and they wanted volunteers. And I'm just like, I don't think I can. I just don't, my back, and it would be a lot of like bending over and standing around and I just feel like it's too much, like putting too much stress on me. Nighttime is when I'm my most tired and I just, I don't want to overwhelm myself. I want to be able to focus on this journey to have enough time to go to the gym when I can, to be able to do things for my kids, but at the same time, I don't think I have to do everything. So we actually found um, a cheerleading class that's nearby that you can drop in when you want. And it's at the same time as the Girl Scouts and it would be weekly and so that they're happy with that. So I don't have to volunteer because I don't wanna stand out in the cold and I don't want a house full of Girl Scout cookies. And I know they would like it, and if someone else comes forward and wants to be the leader, it's good to me. <laughs> I just like want to know my limits and I don't want to overwhelm myself right now. I'm trying to focus on this. I'm trying to get, I got a year, right? You have a year to make the most difference that you can. So that's what I'm working on. So that's my week. Thanks for tuning in and I hope that you'll write how you're doing down in the comments. Let me know if you have any other similar struggles that you can share and how you maybe worked it out or if you're going through the same thing with the energy, I'd love to know. Um, I am, I do have a bunch of ideas for other videos in the works. I just have to actually do them. So maybe I'll just caffeinate myself one day and get it done finally. And I apologize for not being too consistent, but I'm trying, you know, we're doing what we can. And I hope you guys have a great week. Please subscribe if you haven't yet and follow my journey and I will talk to you soon.
Bye.